This will work. Hey buddy, you comfy? <laughs> Is it cold in there? You okay buddy? <laughs> <sighs> well, another freezing cold night in Nevada. My toes are still frozen. <clears throat> I have the little buddy heater, you know, like the smallest one they have available, which normally works okay, but below freezing, no, <laughs> it doesn't help. I mean, it helps cut the cold a tad, but what I do is I cut off. Um, half of the van with my bathroom door and there's like a little slot where Louis can you know use the restroom uh, if he needs to but I think that helps more than anything so anyway headed to Henderson and then then off to Arizona I'm so excited to get out of the cold Get some desert sunshine. Maybe get a tan. Show Louie the desert. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I guess this guy's a camp host. That's a big old bottle of propane. Holy crap. Huh. Anyway. What is it, day? Two, day three, and I already need a shower so bad. My nails are a mess. Who cares, right? I don't care. Sorry, buddy, washboard. Yesterday was 70 degrees. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So when I first got here, there was no one around me. And now there's three people. Like that guy way over there, totally cool. Even this guy that showed up a couple of days ago. All right, fine, you're far enough away. But this guy, what the fuck? I mean, he's like 
30 feet away. Is that necessary? No, you have the whole desert, dude. Spread out a little. I'm sure he's thinking, oh, she's just in a little van. She can move. You're right. I can. And I will. But you know what? I'm not going to be a bitch about it. Oops, too late. <laughs> Could go over there and be like, really, dude? But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. You never know what's going on with someone's life. You know? Not that that's, you know, excusing etiquette. But, you know, maybe this is his first year without his wife camping. You know, maybe she passed away. Or maybe, you know, this is his first Christmas alone. You know, I don't know. You never know someone's situation, so <sighs> try to keep that in mind. Or, or, here's another possibility. Maybe he drove by and saw me and was like, hey, she's, she's a good looking lady. Maybe I'll park next to her. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. It's not completely out of the realm of possibilities. I'm just going to throw it out there as an option. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to head on over down 95. I have a friend over there, so I'm going to camp with him, hang out, and get away from all of this. Because there's a lot of activity over here on Dome Rock West. And I'm really close to the road that has a lot of ATV traffic. And I'm trying to get Louie acclimated to desert life. I've got his tent out here. And I'm trying to get him used to being on the leash and the harness. And, you know, it's a lot to take in because he's not used to it. So, baby steps. We'll get there. It's windy. <laughs> Holy shit. How many times have I just. Here we are in a different spot. The weather has been amazing. Here's my buddy. Hi. Say hi. This is my little tent. Yeah, he's so sweet. Say hi. I've been doing really well on the harness and the leash, but he's still afraid of voices, people walking their dogs nearby. But I'll show you guys how well he's doing on the leash. I'm very proud of you. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. He's so sweet. He is a really good cat. There we go. Come on. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's what I wanted to do, Mom. <laughs> Roll around in the dirt. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Simple pleasures. <laughs> Cutie pie. Oh, that's good stuff. Make sure you get all dirty. Yep. Every inch. So you spend an hour inside giving yourself a bath. Oh. <laughs> so cute. <sighs> that's what he, actually, that's what he used to do before he was mine. Why do cats do that? I asked my friend here, um, and he said it was, he thought it was, it's like their instinct to mask themselves and their pheromones against other animals. I've never really looked it up though, but maybe I will. Because normally, you know, cats are very finicky about being being and staying clean, so. Hey, buddy. 
Hi, beautiful. You're such a handsome guy, aren't you? See, yeah, I'm a handsome boy, Mom. What is it? What is it? He's still afraid of men. And the next video that I'm working on is going to be the story of Louie. So stay tuned for that one. Bye.